Hey guys, this is Alex Pierce from LightsailVR.com. Today we're going to talk about how to place 2D objects in a 360 sphere using the Lat Long Pancher in Fusion Studio. All right, let's jump in. So this is our original footage. I'm going to put it in viewer one and two. In viewer two, I'm going to go up here, go down to 360 view, set to Lat Long, hold down Alt Middle Mouse, you can look around, hold down Control Middle Mouse, and you can zoom in. So basically, we're going to take this photo which is just a regular photo, and we're gonna place it in here. So first, control space and add LLP, lat long patcher. Then let's merge these together. So I'm gonna go from the 2D element to the lat long patcher to get our merge. And then here, we're gonna do control space, LLP for lat long patcher. And then finally, we're going to merge all of this with our park scene. So the end result, which is not gonna be working right now, will be here. The reason this is red is the second lat long patcher needs to be set to apply. Okay, so technically this is working and this is could be done. If we look at our lat long patcher here, pressing one, you can see it just takes out the square here from the 360 footage. If we look into our merge node, we can see what it's doing here and then it's basically distorting it correctly and then merging it all back together. So here's the key thing though. Let's say this photo needs to rotate around uh, in a circle. So right now, if we wanted to move this around, if we move, if we change any values in our first lat long patcher, we have to make sure these, these values match in our second one. And now we can look and see where it's supposed to go. So there's a much easier way to do this, and it's through something called expressions. So I'm going to click on my second lat long patcher. And if you go over here, to the X and right click, we can say expression, and then Y expression, Z expression. Now, there's a bunch of different things we could do with that, but what we're going to do is we're gonna select the second one and the first one, and the second one is called Lat Long Patcher 3. The first one is Lat Long Patcher 1. So if we drag from this X, we drag, we hover over Lat Long Patcher 1, and we connect it to this X, you can see it says here, latlongpatcher1.rotate.x. You can also see these values if you look down here in the bottom left hand corner, if I hover over any of these x, you'll see what the names are. And that's basically all it's doing. It's saying, hey, I'm going to set this value to the same value that this is already set to. So you can see, so you can already sort of see where we're going with this. So we'll go ahead and connect y to y, and then z to z. And now what's great is we can click on this first one and I can rotate this around and however I rotate it, it will automatically update in our final picture. So if we needed to do anything at all, it will automatically update and that's all great. So let's say we want this to fly around. We could actually add keyframes to X, Y, and Z and then we can go forward in time and we can say let's move this up a little bit and then let's move it all the way around. So now if we look at our final result over here, let's see if I can zoom out. I'll go ahead and change this to regular. If we press play, we can see that this now flies around and it does our little animation. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions, make sure to subscribe, like, all that stuff, and I'll see you in the next video.